Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back with another Funko Pop mystery box unboxing for you. And this time we actually got a newer mystery box for ourselves, a company we have not ordered from before, and that is Smy World. And Smy World's been around for a while now, and I've seen other people get mystery boxes from them, but I've seen that they do a lot of high roller mystery boxes. But I've been following them on Instagram and I've seen they put out a couple really cool mystery boxes recently. So I thought, hey, I'll take the jump and I will grab one of their mystery boxes. And so we did get one of their hump day mystery boxes right here. So this came out a couple weeks ago from the time that you're seeing this. We've had this for a little bit. But now we are finally being able to open this and I am definitely excited to see what we can possibly get. But I'm not sure the types of pops that it could be that didn't say any of the top hits. So it really truly is a mystery and hopefully we can end up grabbing some great pops inside here. So let's go ahead and crack this box open and see what we have inside because I think I ordered multiple boxes but I don't quite remember. Okay. So it looks like the pops are just inside of this box. So I might have ordered just one. So I guess we'll see what we got inside. Now let me get this open here and see if I can feel around. So I know I feel one pop off the on the top and that one has a protector. Looks like all of them are wrapped in bubble wrap. This pop down here, I don't feel a protector. And then it looks like there's a pop over here as well that does not have a protector. So it looks like there's three pops inside of here and only one of them have protectors, but at least they're all wrapped in bubble wrap. So I want to save the one on top for last because that's the one with the protector. So it's probably the one that has the best value. So why don't we start with this one here and we have the bubble wrap and this one is okay. So this one is Ron Weasley on the Quidditch broom. So this is a pretty cool pop. I do not collect Harry Potter myself, so not a great pop for me, but I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are gonna love this pop. It actually does look pretty cool with him on the stand of him actually riding the broom. That's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like this pop is from 2017. There's like a little bit of sticker residue there on the bottom, which does hurt a little bit. Uh, but you know, it's not in perfect condition, but you know, I would say probably a 7.5 out of 10 as far as condition. So nothing too terrible here. The box is pretty cool. And the fact that it's a 2017 pop could be good. However, I know a lot of these Harry Potter figures have been reprinted. So the value is not that great, but I guess we'll see what the value is for this pop in a second. But I do like this pop overall, even though I don't collect it myself. So let's go ahead and get the second pop out here and see. Yeah, I want to make sure I'm grabbing the one that does not have the protector. So this one, let's go ahead and unwrap the bubble wrap and see what we have. It is... Okay, this one, not a huge fan of it. It is Stretch Armstrong from the Retro Toys line. This is actually the first pop in the retro toys line i remember seeing this all over the place when i went to funko hollywood they had a ton of them and i think it came out in 2020 yes it did come out in 2020 that's i guess when they started this line not a huge fan of it you know it's just kind of a regular old thing it does look like the toy though if you kind of look at the back it has a little bit of uh actually has the toy there along with a little bit about it so the pop definitely does look like the toy for sure. I don't think this has much value. I would not guess it has more than like 10 or $12 value. So this one might be a bust, but you never know. You could be surprised. Now we do have one more pop left in this hump day mystery box. So let's see if we have anything good. So let's see, it does have a protector on it. So hopefully it does have some with a little bit more value. And it is... Is this Batman? Did we, did we just get this one? Oh my gosh. We just pulled this one in another mystery box. What was it? The uh, Boom Loot mystery box, I think it was. Just pulled this orange chrome uh, New York Comic Con exclusive Toy Tokyo Batman. And although it is a really cool pop, I did already get it for my collection. So this is an extra one. Uh, but it is still, still a pretty cool one. I like the logo that's on the front, kind of like that vintage Batman logo there and that vintage Batman look, more based off of Batman 89. Still a pretty cool figure. I do know it has some pretty decent value. I'm not sure if maybe this uh, 
doesn't have that much value though in terms of selling it if they're throwing it in mystery boxes but yeah it's funny that we got this twice in pretty much about a week time frame uh, so yeah pretty funny that we ended up get, getting this batman but i do know that this one is pretty valuable now looking at the protector i did notice that they actually have their own smy world funko pop protector you might not be able to see it there but it does have the smy world logo on there pretty cool kind of looks like an ice cream cone it's a smy world do like that it's actually fun whenever you have ice cream that's always a good thing we do have these three pops here here's our polls for the hump day mystery box from smy world I definitely want to see where we ended up. I don't quite remember what we paid for the box. So we'll have to look that up and see how much we finished above value if we did. So we'll grab those numbers off PPG and we'll be right back. And we are back with the values and we were able to see where we ended up and also how much the box was because I could not remember off the top of my head. We ended up paying $60 for this mystery box. So we were hoping at least each pop was going to be an average of about $20 in value and i think we did have a, a pretty decent haul a couple commons that aren't too valuable but the batman one definitely did save us so if we go down the line and see how much each pop is worth we'll start with this ron weasley here uh on the quidditch broom this ron weasley is going to be valued at 11 dollars so nothing too crazy there i do like the pop and the design and everything some cool detail there but nothing too crazy then we have Stretch Armstrong, number one in the Retro Toys line. This one is also going to be worth $11. So again, nothing too crazy there at all. And then finally, our last pop, which is the Orange Chrome New York Comic Con exclusive Batman. If you guys watched last week's Boom Loot Mystery Box, you'll know what this pop is valued at. And it's still the same value at $55 so that ended up winning the box here so if we take all of that together that brings it to a grand total of $77 in value which is above the $60 that we paid for the box so that's a win $17 profit there so that is nice to see although there's nothing that we wanted to keep for our collection it's still always fun because you never know what you can get with these mystery boxes now i do want to hear from you guys what do you think about this my world hump day mystery box and what is your favorite thing that we picked up today i know it's not the craziest box in the world but it was still pretty cool i might try my world again because it does look like they do get a pretty good assortment of pops I, I was just hoping that maybe to get a little bit of a better haul this time, but that's the game that you play with these mystery boxes. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this, or if you ever pulled a Smy World mystery box in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys have not already, if you enjoy the content or if you love Funko Pops, you like Funko content, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you can always be up to date of all the new videos that we're dropping. You can also hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos drop. And of course, leave a like on this video. It does make a massive difference for the channel. And thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.